Could I just get you to introduce yourself? Uh, Gerard K, uh, Deputy Fire Chief for Regina Fire and Protective Services. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the session this morning? Uh, this morning's session was uh, really good. We uh, took uh, a, a neighborhood within the city and uh, started to look at all the different uh, aspects of that community that make it a community. And a good cross-section of uh, people that we had in our group, uh, both from uh, industry and from the private and public sector, uh, it really helped in, uh, in us uh, drilling down and finding out what the true issues are uh, that really make up a community. Uh, whether it be the uh, walkability, whether it be the uh, uh, access to uh, amenities, uh, groceries, uh, schools, uh, just a real good process. My name is David Ma. Okay, and so what has brought you here today? Um, I've lived here all my life, so I've seen kind of quite a bit about where the city is gone or, or not gone, and, and it seems like uh, nowadays the city is poised for growth. Everyone's excited about uh, move, moving into new communities or developing, building new buildings. And it just seems like the city is on an, an upswing. So, and I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty proud of my city. I like living here and don't plan on moving anywhere else. So I just want to be able to put my two cents into help shape the future. So during the sessions, we talked about how to how to focus in on certain neighborhoods. Um, we looked at Central Regina and uh, what could, could be done differently to make their neighborhood more safe or more diverse, more, uh, just more, more colorful, I guess. Okay, to start, could I just get you to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Shannon Zikidia. Okay, okay. Um, so what brings you here today? Um, I guess my work at REACH, Regina Education in Action on Child Hunger. Uh, so my, the executive director came yesterday and wasn't able to make it, so she asked me if I could come today. Okay, so uh, how was the session this morning? It was, it was um, informative because I'm fairly new to Regina, um, so because of that I wasn't necessarily able to participate in, when we were mapping out the communities because um, I'm just I'm becoming acquainted with the city. I don't really know where all these different, uh, like the residential <laughs> neighborhoods and the hospitals, like, so it's very detailed like that. So it was more of a learning focus for me, much of it than the, than having the opportunity to provide information to others. So, um, so it was, but a lot of interesting um, information came out of the session. Like, what are you know? We focused on a specific neighborhood. Yeah. What should uh, what needs to be addressed? Like, what what's there? What's missing? What can we do to improve it? So that was an interesting process for sure. Yeah. To start, could you just uh, say I guess say your name? Introduce him. I'm Ned Kostanek. Okay, and uh, I guess what were some of the things that you discussed uh, in the session this morning? Uh, we, we talked uh, about the, uh, the strategic plan uh, initiatives, uh, priorities that have been put forward. Uh, I was very pleased with, uh, I think, the outcome uh, of those uh, announcements. I think this afternoon we'll have a, maybe an opportunity to critique it against some of the, uh, the plans that we uh, looked at uh, uh, just in the morning session.